Good morning, farmhands. Kimfer Hill Farms here on Elm Creek. If you happen to watch our farm tour video, it was raining. I appreciate you. Um, we ended up getting that grain field done, and Bill said he was coming over this morning to start bailing it up, so he should be back there. We're going to go ahead and take our TLX 2020 back there and start picking up some bales. Try not to tear down our shed in the process. This is the auto loading small flatbed. Uh, holds 16 bales. Nothing too extravagant, but it's fine for what I need. We're running a beef cattle operation and sheep as our backbone of this farm. If it wasn't for sheep and greenhouses, we would be nowhere. So we're gonna go ahead, we only got a few done here. We'll go ahead and pick them up. For all you people that are gonna give me trash on the auto loading, I don't care. This is how I like to play. I'm not, I'm not judging you for how you like to play. If you don't like it, don't watch. Because this is how I'm gonna play. Anyways, we'll kind of let Bill do his thing there. I don't think he started as early as he said he was gonna, but he's out here. So maybe while He's doing that. We'll go take care of some other business. Uh, we opened up a warehouse area here in Elm Creek, up north. And we've kind of been stockpiling some products in there. It's been kind of recent, so we don't have whole bunch in there but I know we have clothes and I just want to go ahead and sell them because they're good money get on out of here dear No copy, no stoppy. <laughs> uh, see, he didn't stop. Where, where's he going? Why didn't he just stay on the highway? So we're getting close to our warehouse facility here. You can see it down there. We got a tailor shop. Nice pond kind of surrounding the area. We also bought this grain mill over here. And just this little kind of office area, put it all together. A little tight going through here, but make it just fine. We should probably go ahead and sell off our honey because we're full of it. Wait, that's not right. Okay, we're not as full as we should be. But we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do our clothes because I mean, that should be around 30 grand or so. Where'd they go? There's more than that.
We have flashing lights, so we don't have to stop. It's, like, it's kind of like funeral procession, but with cargo. Oh, we're making up rules as we go. But nobody stopped us yet. If you're not making clothes, make clothes. You won't regret it. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. I'm still kind of figuring all this YouTube stuff out. I have an interest. I enjoy this. I just I want to make some stuff you guys are going to enjoy here. see do you want to see some role play do you want to see me build this farm into owning the whole map let me know in the comments let's see what billy's out here doing like goofing around no grass that needs to be cut Looks like Billy's on his last stripe there. So I'm going to keep this episode short and sweet. Tell me what you think. What can I fix? I know it's a lot. There's a lot I can fix. I'm going to work on it. I just, if you guys are anything like me, you like seeing uh, different people's farms, you know, this is mine. I love drifting this thing around. shabby. We'll probably have 16 when we're all said and done. Be perfect. Beautiful. So go ahead and we're going to hang on to these. I'm thinking our da dairy cows are going to go right in there. I haven't decided. That's what we're working towards right now. I'd like to have a nice cow shed. Maybe automated feeder. That would be sweet. Uh, we'll just see how ritzy we can be. we got to keep our priorities straight. Just 
drop this right here for old Mr. Telehandler. We'll take care of that. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode there. Tell me what you